Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Karyungi. Today we continue with our Form 1 Biology and we are discussing the microscope. Uh, in order for us to understand the cell, it is important, first of all, to understand the microscope. And the reason for that is because uh, cells are microscopic organisms. Okay, sorry. They are microscopic structures, which can only be seen with the aid of a microscope. So in this case, it is important, first of all, to understand how does the microscope look like. Then we can now use it to study the cell. We have two types of uh, microscopes. We have one, the light microscope. And we have electron microscope. The common microscope that we use in schools for study is the light microscope. And this light microscope has a certain level of magnification, has a certain level in which it can enlarge something that is very small, like a cell, so that you can be able to see more details. We call that magnification. It also has uh, the ability to distinguish uh, some in the internal parts, what we call resolution. The electron microscope plays a similar role, but it is more powerful. It's more powerful than a light microscope. Now, a uh, light microscope uses light. To illuminate uh, specimens, to illuminate what we are observing. But electron microscope uses a beam of electrons, uses a beam of electrons. So we'll dwell more on the light microscope and then later we'll come in and compare the light microscope with the electron microscope. So to start us off, we'll discuss the light microscope. Uh, a light microscope has a magnification of up to about 1,000. It can enlarge uh, small objects up to 1,000 times. It's more powerful than a hand lens. It's more powerful than a hand lens and reveals more details compared to a hand lens. So in this case, you can say that uh, it has a magnification of about 1,000, which is relatively higher than that of a hand lens. We also use it, is used to observe specimens whose parts cannot be seen using naked eyes or what we call an aided eyes. So the light microscope is now the equipment that is used to aid the eyes uh, to see the internal structures of the specimen. Naked eyes are an aided eyes. Now, we are going to have a, a diagram 
of a light microscope. We'll sketch it so that we can use it for our learning. So we have a light microscope. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do is to label that light microscope is a sketch. Um, so we have the first part here. We refer to it as the eyepiece, where you place the eye during observation. There is the second part, we call it the body tube. Uh, we have uh, some two knobs. There is a bigger knob. We call it the coarse adjustment knob. There is the second knob. We call it the fine adjustment knob then we have these other lenses there we refer to them as the objective lenses there are three of them then we have the clips for clipping the specimen we have the stage, this one is the condenser, mirror, we have, this one is the arm, there's another part here that uh, we have not uh, labeled, it's called the revolving nose piece or the turret and then finally we have the stand so those are the main parts of a microscope and we are going to discuss the functions of those parts of the microscope so parts of a microscope and their function. We'll start from the top. We have the eyepiece. That is the first point of magnification. The eyepiece is where we place the eye during observation, during examination and it magnifies magnifies the specimen then we have the body tube it's indicated in the diagram uh, the body tube is the one that supports the revolving nose piece Then number three, we have the revolving nose piece. It's here, and it's the one that supports the objective lenses. So the revolving nose piece supports the objective lenses and enables one to change from one objective lens
to another. So we have three objective lens, but you can change by revolving or rotating the nose piece so that you can select the objective lens to use. Uh, then we have the objective lenses themselves. Uh, these ones contribute to the magnification. of the specimen they help to magnify the specimen just like the eyepiece so they add to the magnification uh, then we have uh, the knobs we have the course adjustment knob that is the bigger knob and this is the one that brings the image into focus. It helps to bring the image into focus by rotating. You rotate uh, the course adjustment knob until you see the image, until you bring the image into focus. Uh, then we have uh, the second knob that is smaller. We refer to it as the fine adjustment knob. So this is the one that uh, brings the image into sharp focus. So you start by using the course adjustment knob. You see the image, you bring it into focus. But if you want to bring it into sharp focus, you, you use the fine adjustment knob to make the details clearer. To make the details clearer. Uh, then we have... Uh, We have mentioned the objective lenses. We have the arm. The arm is for support. It supports the body tube. It supports the body tube and also the objective lenses. supports the body tube. Uh, also, it's the one that supports the stage. And the stage is the one that contains the specimen. So next, we go to the stage. That's where we place our specimen on a slide. So the stage is where the slide containing the specimen is placed. And it has clips. It has clips to keep the slide in position to ensure that once the slide has been put on the stage it remains in that position it by clipping then we have uh, the condenser condenser this is the one that concentrates the light onto the stage concentrates light on to the stage. It is a lens that is converging. It's a converging lens that concentrates the light onto the stage. There's something else that we have not labeled in the diagram and this part here is the diaphragm.
Next, you go to the diaphragm. And this is the one that regulates the light that is coming from the mirror and uh, it controls how much light gets into the condenser. So it regulates the amount of light. To the condenser then we have uh, the mirror is the one that reflects the light onto the stage through the condenser. Through the condenser. And finally, uh, we have the stand And the stand is the one that supports the microscope on the bench. So basically those are, that is the microscope and the various parts of the microscope and uh, the role that uh, those parts uh, play. So the next thing that we'll have is an assignment on this. So the assignment for the day, the first question, draw a well-labeled diagram of a light microscope like we have done. State the function of A, diaphragm, B, condenser, and C, objective lens. So we'll stop there. See you next time. Goodbye.